Uh, silicon photonics is a technology that is maturing over time. Uh, it, it has been, uh, it, it is being developed for many years because the whole idea has been how do you get the CMOS economics of scale into photonics. And there have been various approaches to building silicon photonics. Um, at Juniper, we have invested into silicon photonics uh, with our acquisition of Orion in, in 2016. Uh, but more broadly, uh, silicon photonics ultimately delivers a couple of things. One is obviously the economics of scale, but the second one is density and power. And as the speed increases for network interface, that becomes more and more important. Uh, what has happened, especially for network processors, is that uh, with Moore's Law, the capability of processing packets inside these network processors, they've exponentially grown over time. If you just look at the chip generations, you know, they've gone from gigabit to terabit to multi-terabit, going very close to you know, tens of terabits in capacity. But the size of these chips, they don't really scale or grow because you cannot package them as a chip that you can put on a system. Therefore, you have limited area and limited pins to get these packets in and out. And doing so in electrical domain uh, has its limitation. And the way that it has been addressed is you have gone faster and faster with the electrical interface that is ultimately used to get the packets in and out of the chip. But very soon, you start hitting a brick wall, that is Shannon's Law, which ultimately determines how much of bandwidth you actually can get in and out of the chip electrically, right? We are very close to that point. Effectively, our modeling shows that beyond a 25 terabit per second or thereabout of a chip processing capacity, it is very hard to have electrical interfaces to have packets come in and out, and you have no alternative but to actually have optics that is co-packaged with this chip, so you're, you're taking advantage of photon to take signals in and out. And the only technology that can really do that is silicon photonics. So we are coming to a point where silicon photonics is not a novelty, neither is it an option. In order for us to scale networking and keep on decreasing the cost of uh, processing packet, we have to leverage silicon photonics, whether it's on the same package or whether it's on the same uh, line card, uh, maybe in the form of Kobo or something similar, or whether it's having array of transceivers that are co-packaged very closely uh, in the system. So either way you look at it, you know, I believe silicon photonics is a key technology that is going to be necessary for us to keep on scaling networks.